on everybody holy moly it's the last day of january january 31st 2024 and this is the real deal this is the calm before the big 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 series of storms coming through it's what we've been waiting for all season everybody we are excited and a bit nervous too because it's going to be a lot of effort on my part to keep up with this and uh you guys know i always do i, I just get nervous and then i handle it just fine so anyway let's do this sap on my windshield unless that is a little bit of drizzle that started before no it's sap what a poor sap anyway hope you all are having a great day i'll get to the weather in a second um for your merchandise needs and wants and willingness to support me please go to bigbearweatherandmore.com we have a whole bunch of stuff from hoodies to puffers and and uh Awesome, awesome t-shirts, super cool designs, beanies, coffee mugs, candles. We just have a whole bunch of stuff there. Check it out, please, and please help support the channel. I'd really appreciate that. Um, and then let's see here. Also, we're coming up on the left-hand side, like uh, on two consecutive blocks is Get Boards Ski and Snowboard Rental. I'm telling you guys, the, this is definitely best priced place up here to get your rentals. And also if you bring your own skis and your own snowboard in there and you mention this channel, they'll wax it for free, you guys. And you guys know waxing your skis and, and snowboards before you go skiing is uh, it can make all the difference in the world. So here's the first get boards right here. That's the ski shop and then this is the snowboard shop right there. And as I said, if you go in there and you mention that I sent you guys in there, you'll get your skis and snowboards waxed for free. Um, and I can pretty much guarantee you that they'll take care of you no matter what with everything else. Um, this, their staff, you guys, is so nice, so knowledgeable. If you break anything on your boards and stuff, I met some cool young man named Kyle and uh, he fixes all, all those chips and broken issues with your skis and snowboards. Um, they're all certified for that, but he was one of the ones that I had a, a long conversation with and I was just so proud to see someone so young just grabbing life by the horns. Everyone there is pretty young and they all are very ambitious and care about their job and care about you guys. That place is absolutely fantastic. Um, I heard a lot of good things about them before I started repping them. So I just wanted to see a little bit more, meet meet the owner, and uh, um, the owner let me borrow a pair of skis. So for those of you who think I get paid to do these things, I don't get paid to do these things. He lent me skis for two uh, little times to go skiing. And uh, that's as far as it's gone. So I'm not saying these nice things about this place just to uh, just to get them back for giving me money or something. I don't have any relationships like that, you guys. I'm referring these places because I, I like the ownership, I like the products. And again, I heard a lot of good things about Get Boards um, prior to me going in there and talking to the owner and uh, asking him if it was okay if I let all my fans here know that this is the place to go and he was he was totally stoked about it and as I said he let me borrow some some skis which saved me for the couple ski experiences about a hundred bucks so it did help me out big time but uh yeah I I, I, I mean guys I, you guys know me I've I've I'm very, very honest about everything um, at the risk of some people being upset about it. But when it comes to that, there's really nothing I can do. I'm not going to lie or fabricate anything just to get you guys to spend some money. It has to be something that I enjoyed. And again, all of my opinions on restaurants and stuff like that, guys, that's just my subjective opinion. 
Um, we all have different taste buds. We all like different stuff. So something that I may not have liked, that doesn't mean that you won't absolutely love it. So, so still try everything, but I will always give you my honest, honest opinion about everything. But yeah, so get bored, it's a fantastic place. Owner's name is Tony. Um, yeah, just go on in there and they will take care of you for sure. And something that I didn't realize these spots also have is ski and snowboard clothing rentals, which is amazing. Because for those of you who know, ski and snowboard clothing is super expensive. So for, I believe, $25, get head to toe what you need to stay warm and stay dry out there 25 bucks to rent but yeah so let's get to the weather now after we get to this, that little snow play area this is the alpine slide at magic mountain it's a really fun place they have roller coasters a couple different roller coasters and bob sleds and um, yeah, so sledding and stuff like that. It's a lot of fun. Very easy to take the kids there. They're safe. Um, you don't have any any worries like your kids sliding down a hill into the middle of the street and getting hit by cars. You have nothing to worry about like that. All right. So when it comes to our weather, it's gonna be pretty crazy guys so let me let me uh, read you guys what's going on here so I'll just give you the first couple days so tonight you guys late night overnight after midnight we got some snow showers developing the snow is gonna be about an inch now this is where it gets crazy Tomorrow during the morning, um, we could get a foot or more of snow just in the morning on Thursday, February 1st. And then once the evening time comes, another one to three inches. And then on, on Friday, it looks like we could get about an inch in the morning and maybe about an inch in the evening. So tomorrow during the morning is going to be the crazy heavy times. Hopefully the snow plows don't plow me into my driveway because uh, I don't want to have any issues getting in and out to uh, go record for you guys. But yeah, and then we have many, many more days of rain and snow mix and then all snow. And um, it looks like on, on Monday on the 5th, on that day, if everything works out, we could see a foot of snow. The next day we could see maybe five or six inches of snow. I mean, every single day there's quite a few inches of snow that's possible. So just be, be prepared, you guys. All of you guys who are, are coming up here, please make sure that you bring your tire chains and you bring warm clothing. You bring extra food and water in your vehicles. Let some people know where you're going as well. It's really important because if you get stuck, um, if you don't have any cell phone service, really important other people know where you're going. All right, guys, I don't want anything to happen to you guys. I just want you to come up here and have a good time and enjoy yourself, but it's gonna be tricky getting up here for the next two weeks. It, your best bet, if you see this video today, is to get up here before midnight. If you wanna be here for part of the biggest, heaviest, or actually, not part of it. This first part of the storm is going to be the heaviest part of the storm. So you're going to want to come up here tonight if you want to experience uh, maybe a six to eight hour period of snow that could dump over a foot in just a short period of time. It, it's going to be pretty wonderful, you guys. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be sketchy. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Again, I'm excited. Super nervous though, super nervous. So yeah, I just, uh, I hope you guys are ready. Hope you guys are ready. I'm not ready, but I'll be ready. Our grocery stores are a bit barren at the moment. Not so bad, but you can tell a lot of people took the wise, smart route to uh, 
make sure that they have prepped good enough for this next two weeks. My concern, you guys, is in a few days, as I said, there's some rain and snow that's going to be making an appearance. And when we get a lot of snow and then rain, that creates a lot of problems. That's flooding central for sure. And look at all this moisture in the road here. So guys, we haven't had snow in a while, right? But you see all that moisture in the road around that turn right there. That's what a lot of you need to be very, 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 very careful of. We get folks who come up here two weeks after a snowstorm and just don't think about the fact that the road could be icy, right? Because snow two weeks ago, why would it be icy? Well, this snow during the day, guys, melts into the street if it's alongside of a road like this. And what happens if is if it doesn't evaporate, then it's gonna freeze. So you just gotta be very, very vigilant always in this town. Um, yeah. So just be extremely vigilant, be careful. set of features up here with the mountains and the lake it's, it's it's just wonderful and even one side of town kind of looks like desert so we have it all up here of course we're going to be doing more drives around the lake during the storm or during the storms i should say but this will give you a good sense of what town looks like right before the storm. And then I can't wait to do the aftermath video to see how white everything is at that point. The aftermath video is not gonna be for like 11 days or so. Even though we do get a little bit of a break, I believe Saturday, I think it's less than 24 hours. I'm, 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 I'm playing this whole thing as if it's just one big consistent storm but it is a, a few different systems coming in back to back to back to back with uh, that subtropical moisture feeding into it which is sign of El, El Nino for sure but we'll see we'll, we'll see what happens again your safety is super important so now we are heading towards fawn skin we just passed the big bear dam and the water's looking choppy out here as well it's not often you see this lake all chopped up it's not bad but you can definitely see a ton of ripples out there. All right, so hang tight, you guys. Just give me a second. All right, you guys, sorry I had to take a quick little phone call. So one thing I like about these heavy parts of the storms hitting our town during the week is that we're not gonna have that many people up here. So if, if I wanted to go skiing tomorrow, which I'm not gonna be able to because I'm gonna be way too busy with videos, other videos, and my regular job, um, town is just amazing because it's, it's just so quiet. And on days where, again, it's a weekday and our town gets snowed in and they aren't letting much traffic come up. Um, I, I, I mean, it, it just feels like the most incredible ghost town. You don't see anybody outside, hardly any cars anywhere. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. That doesn't mean that I don't love the tourism. 
absolutely love the tourism, love seeing people having fun, taking a load off. I'm just saying it's just a really interesting feeling to see this town inundated with snow and nobody up here. I've been skiing up here, you guys, after like two feet of snow during the week where it was impossible to get up here and the mountain's still open so you would have just just locals there or people who were already here visiting and I mean like as far as the eye can see you wouldn't see anybody on a chairlift there was no line for anything it was just I mean <laughs> truly remarkable and I'm looking forward to seeing town like that because also it's a little more safe for me to drive around. Um, I, I'm not as nervous. Um, I'm still just as cautious, but I'm not as nervous. Of course, I've been doing this for nine years. I've driven every single storm we've had since I've lived here, every storm. Um, knock on wood, no accidents yet in the winter time. Knock on wood, there, there's the wood. Um, yeah, I, I'm just, uh, I'm nervous about this one. I am. Sounds good, bro. Just keep your phone next to you. I'll text you when I'm five minutes away. Looking forward to seeing you, my savior. so gorgeous I really hope a lot of you take time to make it up here come support our town we have so many business owners folks that work so hard and they count on the winter to make their whole whole year so we could really really use it and we're coming up to Jackie and shadow congratulations Jackie on laying some eggs. That's awesome. I haven't seen it yet, but I've heard about it from you guys. That is super cool. I just always forget to look at that channel. I don't know what it is. I just always am doing something and then I don't think about it, but we're passing them right now on the left-hand side here somewhere. I know a lot of you know exactly which tree it is, which is pretty cool. And you have told me the trick on how to find exactly which tree. So one of these days, I'm gonna do that. And get a killer set of binoculars, or even a telescope, and try to actually see them. I think that would be pretty cool. All right, y'all, we're in fawn skin. I'm telling you, I am so nervous about this storm. One of my biggest bits of nerve going on right now, of nervousness, is uh, my driveway. I'm really concerned because we do have a snowplow person that, that comes in when we get six inches of snow or more, but then on the main road where we pull out of our driveway, the, the major city snowplows come through and uh, block you in they should have a different system I know time is of the essence when it comes to those types of situations but they should have a second plow going behind them I think and every driveway that they block in with huge amounts of heavy heavy snow the little plow behind them should be clearing out a at least one lane for these driveways but they don't do that they absolutely block you into your driveway and with this much snow coming that's that's not 
not going to be cool. If I have to do some of these videos walking, you guys know that I will. You guys know that I will, of course. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to ever miss any storm, car or no car. skin area folks and boy oh boy over there San Gorgonio looks incredible there's so much snow up there I mean so much snow up there at the very top of those mountains furthest away it's just epic Apparently, San Gorgonio was scouted many, many years ago to turn it into a ski resort. And I'm telling you what, that would be a world-class ski resort without question. But I think it was because of the environmental people and stuff like that. People who drive their cast-powered cars to complain about you stopping these projects that's a project i i totally understand and and i don't want anybody uh to be messing with that natural habitat up there but imagine that imagine that place being a ski resort holy moly just to be able to know I've got something available to drive around for this big series of storms coming through. But yeah, our next video is going to be probably around 4 in the morning, you guys, when we get our first snowflakes. And then shortly after that, it'll be really coming down heavy, and I'm going to have to go back out to record that for you guys. That's going to be my favorite part of this whole entire thing I think is tomorrow morning 
it's going to be all awesome, but that's, that's going to be the most incredible, fun time to be out. I'm kind of hoping our, our weekend is a little bit on the quiet side. Of course, we need everybody to come up here. It's just for selfish reasons. It's just, as I said, really nice once in a while for it to be just like a ghost town up here. I wonder how difficult it's going to be for folks to get up here Friday. Because I know a bunch of you are going to be cruising up Friday. And I just, guys, please, please put safety first. Give yourself an extra two and a half or three hours just to get here just so you're not in any rush in any way. I know that can be a pain in the butt to just throw away that much time, but your lives are worth it. I don't want anything to happen to y'all. Alright, we're coming up to Stanfield Cutoff. And this is going to be it. For the most part. So again, y'all, it's January 31st, 2024. This is the last day of January. And we are we are moving along in this year of 2024 pretty quickly. Pretty cool cloud formation, huh? That looks like a mouth with teeth on the bottom. Doesn't it look like a mouth with some teeth on the bottom? It, it looks like an x-ray of someone's mouth with no, no teeth on the, on the top. <laughs> oh, so beautiful. All right, y'all, again, don't forget to go to bigbearweatherandmore.com, help support the channel with some awesome merchandise for yourselves and get boards on Big Bear Boulevard. Again, it's called Get Boards, Ski and Snowboard Rentals. I forgot, I neglected to mention, if you go online at getboards.com and order your, your tickets, your lift tickets three days in advance of when you plan on going, you'll save a significant amount of money compared to if you went up to the ticket window at the resort and purchased your ticket. So you'll be saving some cha-chang cha-chang and again i'm just trying to help you guys out take care of you guys make your stay that much better uh the more this channel grows the more opportunities i'll have to be able to help you guys out so let's uh hit the like and subscribe button and thank you guys again for everything january 31st 2024 this is the calm before the major storms um and yeah major is the the, the right word I know it's just a snow shower for like mammoth, but for us, this is major, major stuff coming. So take care y'all and I will talk to y'all later. Peace out.